Hey everybody, how you doing? We're out here in the Boulevard Today Cafe here in uh, uh, the Boulevard in Lancaster, California, of course. Uh, and with me, of course, is the man that's, that's had a lot to do with this, it more than most and more than many, uh, Ron Smith, uh, Vice Mayor of Lancaster and head of the project, I guess I can say, can I? I don't know about head of the project. I lit the fuse about seven and a half years ago, but uh, yeah. it's, uh, it takes a, a lot of people a lot of staff, and it takes uh, government getting out of the way and letting private industry come in and do what they do best. Ron, is, is, is this the armored hammer theory? It's not what I did, it's who got to do it? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so, so when you started this seven and a half years ago, any idea that it would be like this? It, it's actually a hundred times better than I could have imagined. I actually it started, we went to a uh, seminar up in Monterey. I was uh, chairman of the planning commission then. There was a guy who used to be a National Geographic photographer, and he has this website called Walkable America, and they were talking about downtowns and how you need to get people out of their car. It was a paradigm shift before it said, you know, get enough cars going past your business and then people will see you. But that's not necessarily the case. It's better to get them out of the car, make a destination. And I came back and I said, you know what? We have Lancaster Boulevard. It has a lot of neat things that are already on the boulevard, the Western Hotel, Alpac, but it's a four-lane freeway. It's a shortcut from 10th Street West to Sierra Highway. So I had proposed, and it was in the paper, that I said, you know, let's take it down to two lanes, diagonal parking, make it a destination, make venues and restaurants, sidewalk cafes, those kind of things. And so we started it back then, initiated, got in front of the council. I was not on council then, and uh, it started it started moving forward. But it's taken seven and a half years to get to this point. Would you, say, like that's a, would you say that's a big reason why you are on the council now? I... It's not, I decided to get on the council because everything that I was doing on the planning commission, ideas of moving the city forward, and any ideas I had about law enforcement or, or fighting crime, I realized that I needed to be on the council to really affect the change. I could start things on the, on the um, planning commission. I started uh, the first citizens committee. It was the architectural design commission. Uh, for the city of Lancaster, and it only went for a short period of time because the council at that time only made it for like a year. Um, did a lot of uh, different things on environmental, uh, protecting the property, uh, also giving funds to the National Habitat to our uh, prime desert woodlands, but I, it always had to go to the council right. and get approval. So I said, you know what, that uh, opening came up. I said, that's where I need to be. Cut the middleman out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it goes straight. Yeah, that's, that's correct. So, so on the city council, um, um, how are you guys working together? There's new members, it's changed, it looks pretty progressive. Going along with what's really going on here, I think that's a wonderful thing. How do you feel about it? No, I, I think the council is going good. I mean, there are some philosophical differences, you know, some, you know, some slight ones, but... Uh, you need I'm, those, right? Uh, you need a balance. I, I, think it's, I think it's good for a discussion, you know, for discussion purposes. Uh, for myself, I'm probably very, very libertarian-leaning. I think government's a pain in the butt. I think they get in the way too much and they pry into our private lives a little bit too much and they need to get out of the way and, and that's the uh, the proof is in the pudding. Here on the boulevard, the the developers that are creating all these things, Bex, uh, the independent film theater, love working with the city because we work as a partner, not as a hindrance because government is there to make it happen, not to make it not happen. But most governments get in the way and you know they're onerous on you know what they make the developer do and also just the regulation of making things happen and here that's why we're working so fast now I know you're involved in, in social networking on the internet can you give me a little bit of that well I uh, I have a communications company and so I help people with social networking I give uh, you know I give speeches on it and so uh, I think it's important I mean with the social networking alone if you work out with your business and you have those connections uh, if you run my company, you don't even have to run my company. You can just run Smith and Communications, not even in quotation marks. Two very common yes. words. Oh, yeah. And I'm usually number one, two, or three on You're Google. You're probably looking two or three million uh, 40, 49 million that last 49. time I checked. <laughs> and I was number one. Okay. What and without you, paying for anything. And so you say a lot of this has to do with your social media. That's correct. Is there platform, third-party platforms that you prefer to use? Uh, what do you mean by third party? Well, I mean like, like Facebook, like uh, um, um, uh, uh, YouTube, WordPress, Twitter. I have I have a blog. I have a WordPress. What is your blog? Is it on WordPress or is it on uh, blog? It's, it's on, I have yeah. one on each. Okay. I have, what's the, uh, the e-blog? Um, yeah, the blog, the... Uh, the 
Yeah, the sub Blogspot. Right, right. Blogspot. Blogspot. Right, right, right. I have one for Smith Design Studio and Smith Communications on Blogspot. I have a, a Backstage Lancaster. I do a, a, a YouTube called Backstage Lancaster. And uh, we're not friends yet. I got to work that out. Oh yeah, you got to get on there. Yeah. yeah. What I do is I actually take pictures of me going and taking people backstage in the city of Lancaster of things they might not see. Oh, that's great. So down, you know, I took them back in L Pack across the street here about all the graffiti that's on the walls there, uh -huh. all the famous people that have signed. Okay. Or I took them down in the bowling alley for the first look at it, or behind the scenes okay. on a council meeting, things like that. Right. So I have a, I have a, and that's called uh, Backstage Lancaster. Okay. Why well, should uh, direct link that to the Boulevard today? Sure. Yeah, it's called Backstage Lancaster. That's fine. And, and, it's old Lancaster. and then I have uh, a Facebook, and then I have a, a MySpace, and of course I have my website connections, and everything is interlinked back and forth and going back also to my, my website. Now, Ron, there's no excuse. I have to do this. You must become a member of iLive Today AV, the social network for the Animal Valley. Okay, well, you just have to send me the connection. Yeah, I will, my friend. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for taking time okay, out thanks. here. And uh, it looks like we're progressing well. Uh, next event, the streets. Yeah, the um, Grand Prix downtown. Now, is, this, is there still sponsorships available? Is there still booths well, available? So you have to, yeah, you have to check with uh, Steve Gokey and our okay. staff in economic development. Okay. That's part of our economic development plan. Well, Ron, congratulations. A feather in the cap. I guess when you become like a state senator, this will help you. <laughs> <laughs>